Hello, I'm Paul Sokol, and this is the overview video for the May 2014 free campaign of the month. This month, we are going to build our physical mailing lists across two different web forms. In general, when collecting information on a web form, if you can do it progressively instead of all at once, you should have better conversion rates because with fewer fields initially, there is a lower barrier to entry. So while the campaign this month is strategically focused around offering a physical version of some free digital resource, this multi-form tactic can be used for many different lead generation strategies. Here's the general idea. When someone submits their name and email on this first form, the thank you page is this second form which is offering a physical copy in exchange for their mailing address. If someone doesn't take the physical offer right away, we still make good on our promise for the digital version but also send a couple reminder emails reminding them that the physical offer is still available. This is another added benefit of the multi-form tactic because if people fall out during the process, you can follow up with them accordingly. If we were collecting name, email, and mailing address in one form, there isn't much you can do to follow up on people who abandon the process. But that's it. A nice, simple tactic to build your physical mailing list. So let's dig in a little more. The campaign starts when someone goes to your website and provides their name and email. The thank you page will be pointing to the second form. Connecting the second form to the first one is easy because you just copy paste the second form's URL right here. This pass info box ensures that the second form knows who is providing their mailing address. The second form only collects their address. You see this hidden email field here? The pass info option on the first form will pass the person's email address in the background. This is how Infusionsoft knows who is giving their mailing address because this form is checking for duplicates based on email address. Pretty nifty, right? Oh yeah, remember how I said you'll have to copy paste this form's URL into the first one? In the code tab, you can easily copy the URL and then go back to the first form and paste it in. Once someone gives you their mailing address, they go into this mail physical copy sequence, which simply has a task for someone to ship a copy in the mail. If someone falls out after giving their name and email, the digital resource delivery and physical reminder sequence kicks into gear. We immediately send an email with a link to the digital resource and remind them of the physical offer. If they still haven't submitted their address in a few days, one last reminder goes out to try and collect that information. If you think about it, all we are doing is asking for someone's name and email first and then asking for an address. In this example, it is to mail a physical copy of some resource, but this tactic of first asking for an email and then an address can be used in many different ways. Maybe you have someone sign up for a newsletter and then ask for their address to send a bonus gift for signing up. Maybe you are having someone sign up for an online demonstration and then asking for their address so they can receive an information packet about the demo with more information. Again, there are lots of creative ways to leverage this progressive information capture. As with any campaign in the marketplace, all the setup instructions you need to launch live underneath the campaign model. Simply install the campaign, follow the instructions, and you'll have it up and running in no time. Let me know what you think below and let's start building our physical mailing list.